Well, as we approach fall, it's harvest time for many different types of crops. In this week's Northwoods Adventure, our Josh Peterson shows us how one man is busy bee harvesting honey. If you travel just a few miles southwest of Bemidji, you will see a sign that reads Honey Bee Road. And at the end of that road, you will find Lester Hiltz, who is a busy bee harvesting honey from his 14 beehives, which are home to around 60 to 80,000 honeybees each. Lester got into the honeybee business as a way to help his garden grow. I went out there Sunday and it was covered with bees and I got two pickup loads of squash off there after the bees showed up. While there is some economic benefit to beekeeping, there's also an ecological importance to maintaining the environment. One of the many joys for Lester about beekeeping is being able to share his knowledge and educate beginners and help grow interest in this important hobby. I enjoy it uh, and uh, anything that I do that makes it better for the bees, better for me, I pass on to all my beekeepers also. Beekeeping isn't considered a demanding hobby because it only requires attention a few times over its five month season. However, when it's time to harvest, be ready for some hard work. What I recommend for most of my beekeepers is, is the first week of, of September uh, take your honey. When it's time to harvest, it requires a lot of time spinning and sifting the honey in a very hot room. This room Lester uses is around 98 degrees, and this is where Lester cuts the beeswax, spins the frames, extracts and sifts all the honey. Out of the 14 hives, Lester expects an estimated 2,000 pounds of honey this year. Despite all the hard work, Lester says that after 27 years in the bee business, he still gets some surprises. I know what to expect, but they will throw a curve at you every year. <laughs> you will never live long enough to know everything about a bee. For anyone who is curious about beekeeping or is a novice at the hobby, it's best to always ask questions. A lot of them say I got a stupid question. There is no stupid question. <laughs> With this week's Northwoods Adventure in Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.